Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. Okay, do pawn shops take golf clubs? How much do they pay for them? What's the deal? Real quick, my name is Brian. If this video provides you any value, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to know about pawn shops, check cashing, payday loans, any of those financial services. I will be glad to help you. Okay, moving on. So, uh, do pawn shops take golf clubs? Yeah, sometimes yes, sometimes no. This is one of those items that both small pawn shops and larger pawn shops may consider taking in. Uh, the problem is, is that there's a lot of cheap clubs out there. So if it's a better club, you know, some nice drivers, full set, then yeah, pawn shop may be inclined to take them in. But if it's less expensive stuff, not really. It's just not a bread and butter butter type item that pawn shops built their business on like jewelry like gold jewelry pawn shops take in all day every day right because they just buy and sell a lot of it it's something that stabilizes and sustains their business with golf clubs not so much and yes you may have spent two three four hundred dollars on your golf club set when it was new but the used value for that set may not be that high. And I, you know, I hate saying things like that because it's nothing about your set that's wrong or bad. It's just the nature of how these values work. And unfortunately, golf clubs are hard to ship. Uh, if they tried to sell them on eBay, they'd have to sell them off club by club, one at a piece. And then how do you box them? You gotta get these huge long boxes. They're just hard to work with. And so a lot of pawn shops um, may avoid them. But if a pawn shop has a larger walk-in business where they have a customer base that constantly walks in looking for stuff like that, or they deal with a lot of sporting goods stuff or a lot of crossbows or long bows, or you can just kind of tell that they deal with sporting goods in general, then there's a very good chance that they'll take in the golf clubs. Uh, the best thing I can suggest is to just simply Google pawn shops near me take the first three or four results and call them and ask. And I realize that may not be incredibly helpful, but hopefully it is a little insightful because I don't want you driving all around your city with this set of golf clubs hoping that somebody takes it in. Now, if you spent, you know, $1,400, $1,500, $1,600 on your set when you bought it, there's a real good chance that a pawn shop's going to take it in. But you will have to explain to them that it's, you know, hey, no, really, it's not a normal set. It's not like a $200 starter set. I spent thousands of dollars on this. You should really consider it. And, and be patient with them because pawn shops do get offered a lot of really cheap clubs. And when that type of thing happens in a pawn shop, uh, you know, you tend to get jaded. You tend to um, back away from that whole, like, topic and and product overall so it's not that they're rejecting you or your golf clubs it's just that they have a lot of cheaper golf clubs thrown at them and as a result they may not be super excited to hear about yours but if you're a little patient you explain to them like no i spent 23.99 on this set you know if you could help me out it'd be great now how much are, is a pawn shop gonna pay for your golf clubs well it's hard to answer because there's such a wide variety in prices. Typically, this is going to be something where they're going to offer you about 20% or maybe 30 or 40% of their used eBay value. Uh, simply because, like I said, they're hard to ship, they're hard to sell, they, they can just be a problem. Your offer may not be that high. And once again, that's nothing about your golf clubs that's wrong. And it's nothing about you. It's just that the product is hard to move. It's hard to turn around and sell. You know, with the gold ring, it's real easy because they can melt it and then sell the gold and sell the diamonds. And it's one of those things that you can quickly get your money out of it. But golf clubs, not so much. So it, it's typically going to get some lower offers. And I'm sorry to say that. The exception is, is if you live in like Florida where there's a lot of golf uh, courses and things like that, then your offer may be higher. But, you know, if you live in the middle of Ohio, in the middle of farm country, or wherever it may be, it's you may not find a great offer. And uh, you can just kind of be prepared with that beforehand. But, uh, once again, thank you. If this answered your question, whether the answer was something you liked or not, please give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to know more about pawn shops, check cashing, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm here for you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.